Hey guys, we're going to uh, make this flathead screwdriver here. Um, well, it's right here. Anyway, you'll get it. Hopefully we can do this. Um, new inches. And you know how to get these things started by now. 2D sketch. XY plane. Let's go. All right. Circle, smack dab in the middle here, and our radius is 0.245. So 0.245, enter. There we go. Okay, hit finish sketch, extrude this bad boy three inches. There we go. First step done. Okay, we need to make a plane and offset it. So go to down under under plane, hit offset, hit this 0.5. Congratulations, you just you just did that. Okay, next step, sketch on here. Okay, um, to make your life a little bit easy, what you want to do here is I'm going to project a couple planes just so we have an axis. So I'm going to go Y and I'm going to go X. So make sure you have those yellow lines up there. Okay, rectangle. I'm going to just dump this right here. 0.286, tab 0.125. Okay, then use your constraints to be able to center it. So horizontal. Let's see if I actually get this right once. Nope. Vertical, I guess, vertical, oops, vertical here, middle dot, horizontal here, middle dot, and there we go. Okay. I need to take these two lines and turn them into hidden lines because I don't want them to exist. Ish. Okay. Um, arc, we're going to click here. Click here, type 0.157. Nope, not zero. 0.157. There. And then I'm going to mirror this over to that side. So mirror, click this, mirror align, hit the middle, press apply. Okay. So mirror that over, you're good. Press finish sketch. I do need to make a new sketch right here. Okay, I do need to make a new sketch. I jumped forward, I apologize for that. But we're gonna go back and get this. So please make a new sketch on this one. Ignore where I'm at, because I had to back up. So, new sketch on here. There we go. I'm gonna press F7 so I can hide that stuff. Project geometry on this. Okay, I need you to put a point at the top quadrant and at the bottom quadrant so make sure those are lined up if you're in doubt do a vertical constraint to make sure that they are directly above the origin point looks like mine were not so that way that perfectly lines up okay all right this is something you've never done before i would advise you to watch me first and then you do it just to make your life a little bit easier 2d sketch start Okay, once you get into that 3D sketch, you're going to click line, going to click this point, and then that. You have to press on the finish sketch every time you do this. So, new one, line, boom, boom, finish sketch. Start 3D sketch, line, you get it now. That's awesome. Finish sketch. Do it one more time, line. Here, here. Press your finish sketch. Now, this is the third time I've done this video. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Loft. I know that's reassuring. Click that and click there. Okay, so you get that. Now, you're going to add rails. You're going to click 3D1, 2, 3, and 4. What that does is that makes the loft follow these lines a little bit better. And press OK. Hey, it actually worked for once. Awesome. My life is not pointless.
Okay. Um, next step we have to do is we have to make this very last loft, and then we're sitting pretty. So, we need to make another offset plane from here. Offset this 0.5 again. Okay. A lot of these steps are going to be exactly the same. So, hopefully this is not too bad. Okay, click that, new sketch. Okay. Um, once again, we need to project this middle line here and that line there. So we have a basis to work off of. Rectangle, boom, boom. Dimension, I should have done the other way, but I forgot. 0.25, I got distracted, I saw something shiny. 0.016. Okay, we need to align this in the middle of this now. So, do same constraints. We're going to put this along here, this along here. So that way that's perfectly centered. Okay. And this time we're going to add a really, really, really tiny arc on this. So once again, I'm going to press control so I can choose both these. I'm going to hide them both. We're going to go arc 0 0.056. Yeah, it's really tiny, but that's what it takes. So mirror, mirror line in the middle, apply, done. Fresh finish sketch. Okay. I need to be able to see this geometry, so make sure you can. Um, double check something real quick. Okay. Let me see if this works. I did a quiz, quick test, and it does work. Okay. Line. We're going to click, do the same thing there and there. We don't have to project this this time because there are defined corners. The other one was a sucker. Circle. Boom. 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 There, sketch. Start 3D sketch. Line. There. And there. And pressure finish sketch. Um, I think we do need to give a face on this. Or do we? Nope, it worked. Okay. Add rails. So make sure you click on these. I just like doing it like this so I know I'm on it. It's not that much of a difference, but it can make a little bit of it so it looks straight on. Okay, there we go. It's done. I'm going to hide these work planes because they get on my nerves. Just so I don't have to see them. Okay, we have like a few more steps left and then we're done. So we're getting there, kiddos. All right, so next thing I have to do is we need to redo another extrusion to make this thing a tad longer. Okay, this shaft is not long enough. I made a little bit of a mistake. So real quick, do a new sketch on here. Just project it, the circle and extrude that out 0.05. No, 0.5. I apologize for that. Okay, we need to make these things next. It's the exact same measurements as the handle. So, it's pretty easy. Um, we just need to make some planes and we're good. So I need to kind of uh, back up for a second. I need to make a plane offset in from here. Negative 0.5 because I got to go in before I make these. Okay. New sketch on here. Press F7. And we're going to do the same measurements we did on the, the other thing. Okay. We're going to do an ellipse. 
click the middle. We're just going to sketch it out first. Add your dimension. This 0.094. This 0.156. You really don't need to trim or anything else. It's kind of a waste of time. Okay. Extrude that this direction. I don't want to cut. I actually want to use it for what it is. There we go. Point one two. Ooh, didn't like that. Point one two five. And there we go. We need to do one more, and then I finally finish this. Okay. So I need to do one more offset from here. Negative one. Got to shoot it in there. It's going to be really simple. I'm going to click this new plane. And guess what we're going to do, folks? We're going to see if I can do this smarter than I did it last time. Press F7. Oh, looky there. Hello. Project. I want you, 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 and you. Finish sketch. Extrude that. And that, you need to go forward, press OK, you're done. I finally got this video finished. Awesome. Okay, that's it for this. Save it, please. And when I get the next video done, it will be on how to attach all this. Have a good day.